Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, seven digits on her face. She's hot, smack damn. Uh, I am not that seven, 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 seven. Is that seven? Haiku? 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 Five, seven, five. Five, seven, five! Oh, so I went seven, 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 nine, yeah. Uh, math! Math is the area code. Right? I'm thinking area code, that's wrong. Area code. I'm thinking area code. Yeah, I do it all the time. I'm thinking haiku and I'm thinking area code. Exactly. Yeah, it's five, seven, five. Not area code. No. That's like the first three digits uh, of an, an area code is this haiku blows! <laughs> now it's <laughs> violated all the rules. We're doing a YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. I don't improvise my poetry. The muses come. Ew. Coming muses. Oh, sick. You've gone blue. Hi, boo. Are you ready? Hi, boo. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I paid extra for this light show. <laughs> All right, guys, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike Davenport. Yeah, Mike Davenport! Yeah. All right! Age 40. Yeah. Yeah. Generation X. Yeah. <laughs> I accept Target. I accept burnt coffee, advertised as dark roast. <laughs> I buy. Uh, I, <laughs> I accept the ultimate betrayal of the band Weezer. <laughs> I accept Burning Man. <laughs> Mike Davenport, age 40, generation X. <laughs> I accept that you can find something of quality in a strip mall. <laughs> I accept Sarah Silverman doing an infomercial with Alan Alden. <laughs> I accept that children no longer walk to school. And I accept the mispronunciation of the word Chipotle. <laughs> My Davenport, age 40, generation X. <laughs> I accept that a part of my life will die because no one wants to convert 10 VHS cassettes to <laughs> I accept that there might be a God, and if there is a God, it's probably in the flashlight at your home. I accept that spaghetti toast will become a thing somewhere. <laughs> I accept the number 40. I accept the number 41. I accept the numbers 42 through 44. But I do not accept the number 45. My dad. A story generation X. Generation X. Generation X. Here we go. Quick song, it's, it's called uh, Family. You're gonna meet my fucking family. Here they come. Here they fucking come. Uh. Don't say anything. Here they come. My fucking family. They're my family. Here they come. Don't say anything, don't Don't say anything Give me a drink
new family. Beatles chord. Yeah. Yeah. This is about a stroll I took recently. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah! yeah. Uh, it's supposed to go, I brought this. I brought this from Los Angeles! <laughs> Yay. Anyway, let's play through the laptop. Okay. It was a glorious summer day. The kind of glory you notice. So I decided to take a summer stroll. On my stroll, my eye caught a bumper sticker on a compact car. The bumper sticker said in a large font, I love cats. And I thought to myself, that's sweet, because I too love cats. <laughs> then in a smaller font underneath it said, they taste like chicken. <laughs> and I said, oh no. <laughs> Further, that's true, by the way. Further along on my stroll, my eye caught a bumper sticker on a station wagon. The bumper sticker said in a large font, I love dogs. And I thought to myself, man's best friend. <laughs> then in a smaller font underneath it said, after I've run them over with my station wagon. <laughs> and I said, oh no. <laughs> I turned down a different street on my stroll when my eye caught a bumper sticker on a luxury sedan. The bumper sticker said in a large font, I love my children. <laughs> and I thought, family pride is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Then, in a smaller font underneath, it said, because I can drown them in the bathtub and get away with it. And I said, oh, no. I stopped into a bodega and ordered an empanada. I wanted a sweet beef empanada, but I'm on a diet, so I got the vegetarian. I continued my stroll with the empanada when my eye caught a bumper sticker on a compact SUV. The bumper sticker said in a large font, never forget 9-11. And I thought, it's important to remain united as a nation during these divisive times. <laughs> then, in a smaller font underneath, it said, that was a good day. New York City had it coming. <laughs> and I said, oh, no. <laughs> That Renata gave me immediate diarrhea. So I picked up the pace. At a brisk place, my eye caught a brief snatch of a bumper sticker on a minivan. The bumper sticker said in a large variety of unique fonts, coexist. And I thought, now there's a positive, open-minded message I can get behind. But in a smaller font underneath, it said, now go fuck your mother! <laughs> I said, oh no! <laughs> I, sh I, I shit my shorts. My shorts that day summer. Very embarrassing. So on my stroll, I returned to the bodega to register a complaint. The woman behind the counter was apologetic and gave me a complimentary bumper sticker. In a large Helvetica, Helvetica font, it said, you are beautiful. And I thought, what an uplifting sentiment. Then in a smaller font underneath it said, I, the recipient of this sticker, however, am a diarrhea-covered embarrassment. And I put it on the bumper of my Mazda RX-7. Short, this is a cover song. I wish it were louder. So we're gonna do it I quietly. love that band. Yeah. We're gonna do it quietly, but this is a this is a love song. It's quiet. You guys know this song. Yeah. I don't like you. Uh, this is a character I'm working on. It's 
called Lawyer and Flip Flops. <laughs> it goes a little something like this. <laughs> Your honor! <laughs> honor! <laughs> honor! It's not my fault! I didn't do it! It wasn't me! It was my client! The defendant! He's the one that did it! The fingerprints? The blood? I don't even want to be a lawyer! I want to be a blues guitarist! <laughs> Your honor! <laughs> Your honor! I should have a slide up here with me, but I don't! <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Wait, you want a beer bottle? What is a beer bottle? Oh, the beer bottle? oh the yeah, blues yeah, like a true bluesman. Here, I'll do it with this bottle of blood. Yeah! <laughs> so, <laughs> Your Honor, I want to be a blues guitarist. So that's a pickup. Take two, pickup. Uh, well, how was my was my hand like this? Script supervisor, was my hand like this? <laughs> Your Honor, Your Honor, I want to be a blues guitarist. Your Honor, a blues guitarist. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I turn everything up. So let's do like a, another. S oh, I got two bits. I got two more. Let's do. Mm, yeah. Mm. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. I know this song's sad. I feel like like what's the point of doing a sad song? It's a <laughs> Mike. You've gotta stay. You've gotta face to face. Cause for you. about like try like don't kill yourself right we need more of that <laughs> Gen X is killing themselves it's not cool uh, stay it's alive cool. stay alive we need you <laughs> stuck in your cloud it's time to come down there's rain Shark something at you real quick. You know? <laughs> Pitch it, you know. Shark it. Shark it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Sharky. So I'm gonna shark something at you. Woo. Circle it like a shark. Why? Why hasn't anyone manufactured popcorn for the new generation on the go? Well, I did, and I call it snap corn. Snap corn is the newest, freshest way to enjoy popcorn. Each snap corn kernel is hand selected by you. Choose from a wide variety of classic flavors, including original, classic original, Hollywood butter, caramel by the sea, <laughs> and cheese in Wisconsin, plus radical new flavors like Red Rage, Blue Period, and Green Envy. You can even custom flavor a kernel that tastes like anything you want, from a pepperoni pizza to a hot fudge sundae. What if I want my popcorn to taste like my childhood home? We can do that. <laughs> what if I want my popcorn to taste like a high jump? <laughs> Fine by me. Get silly. We won't judge. 
If you're a local practical joker, you can bring in a sample of your own urine and snap corn will flavor the kernels to your specific scent. Great for party pranks or to exact revenge on workplace foes. Totally safe! For an extra charge, you can bring in a photo and snap corn will emboss the image onto each kernel. <laughs> Newlyweds! What's the best, what better way to commemorate your special day than with a wedding day photo snack pack of snap corn? Take Junior's Little League game or Little Sis's dance recital and turn it into a lively bag of cherished moments photo snap corn. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm totally sharking this at you, Silicon Valley. Get on board! Mark Cuban! Howie Mandel! Photo snap corn. I thought the guy was Howie Mandel when I saw that show. <laughs> Photo snap corn can also be used to remember those who have left us. Try our solemn R.I.P. photo snack pack of snap corn. It's the perfect funeral stocking stuffer. Last in flavor. Uh, birthdays, New Year's, St. Valentine's Day, or just plain old Monday. Celebrate life, living, and death with snap corn. Snap corn. It's what everybody's eating. Snap corn. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh this is an oldie. So Joanna and I, Joanna spoke earlier. I did. And Drew earlier. We used to be in a band. Ooh. Pardon me. We used to be in a band together. And uh, this is one of those old songs. Yeah. So this is like Latchkey. Like, were you a Latchkey kid, Mike? I was. Nice. Me too, man. Yeah. 80s. 80s. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, in the 80s, like parents just let you come home by yourself and you had a key and you had the whole place to yourself. Oh, check out this tattoo I just got. I've got so fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it, it represents me. It's a, I'm a lone wolf. Yeah. That's a key kid. Yeah. Uh, this is temporary. But I think I want to get it. I, I want to get it really done. Like, the teal. So I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is about being a latchkey kid in the 80s, probably, yeah. or whenever. Adapt it to your own thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a uh, different register. It's a windy afternoon. I don't know what we can do. Dad kicked in the TV set. We could. No, no, there's so much more. The day's not over yet. Let's remove all of the cushions. Stack them high and don't just sneeze. There's a game where the rug becomes lava. And if you touch it, you will freeze.